what's up, what's up, guys? Ray here for the Gear Council, and I know that's a very weird thing, but I just want to show off real quick how you can end game so fast with Blue Eyes Chaos Max. And we have so many duels, not just this one duel, but look at all that damage, how quickly it is. And it is pretty easy to stop, and I will show that throughout the video. So you're probably saying to yourself, but when are you going to show off, like, you know, you losing to get, you know, with the deck? I will. Trust me, I will. It was a great match, nonetheless. We went a lot of back and forth. I had a great hand. He had a great hand. But overall, I lost that one match because the guy just, you know, he had, he had the, he had what he needed. I don't want to spoil it, but it was pretty damn tank to say the least. But you can see how quickly this can end games. But I will say this much. It can easily be ran over with Utopia Lightning or with, uh, you know, just pretty much what you use against Blue Eyes in general, it'll still work against this. You know, you just gotta be, uh, you can't use Raigeki against Chaos Max because it's not really gonna do anything. I just went for the number 95 there for a dump because I have this and I have the stone in the grave. So if that goes, you know, I could just do whatever with it. But Banish Out Gospel, I probably should have let it go and I could have dropped another one. But it didn't really matter at the end of the day because he's got like three-step back row. I'm really not afraid of three-step back row because I'm just getting that Chaos Max again. Soul Charge, pop a card on the board. I know I probably could have ended the game there, but I was like, you know what? Let me just basically take out everything that he can do. I didn't want to attack in the back row, and I milled a Gospel Revival there. That's why Michael's still on the board, for those of you wondering. And he realizes he can't do nothing against this, and he drops. So here we go against uh, basically Cyber Dragons, which is something I haven't seen in a little while. But guys, let me know what other decks you want me to really work on. Because I'll try to get them out next week. I already have a few ideas for this weekend. So basically, it's not going to be too many decks uh, coming out this week. Mainly because this is like the movie pack week. So I'm going to try to focus on uh, things I'm going to be behind on and whatnot. So he actually notices. He saw, he saw him noticed my uh, my thing there. And then saw him warning my Chaos Max. I'm like, okay, you want to play Dank? I'm going to play Dank. I'm going to attack your Galaxy Soldier. How you like those apples? <laughs> You know, but uh, he's got another one there. He's going to go for a repair plant, get the Cyber Dragon in hand, trivia for Cyber Dragon, play Overlord Fusion, go for Rampage Dragon, and uh, just swing at my at my poor little monster there and do three attacks. So almost able to kill me, just almost. But uh, I still have the upper hand here. I get Melody Awakening Dragon, Chaos Max. I can always get back later. I don't need it right now. So go for alternative and then go into my big loop and drop him a 500 while also dropping three to my grave. What did he actually drop out? Because I wasn't paying attention when we were actually doing this. He dropped out a Toon Cyber and a Raiden. I don't know why he's playing Raiden. Maybe to give him access to level 9 Synchros. But there's really not a level 9 Synchro I could think off the top of my head. Maybe level 6. I don't really know. But maybe it's some hot tech that Ryu hasn't seen yet. So go figure. So I just swing into it. I probably should just use the fact. But it probably would have you know, been the same result. So. I do have to say, this will show when hands are really good, but with Blue Eyes Chaos Max, my testing pretty much just is inconclusive to this, to basically just state, in short, layman's term, basically the standard Blue Eyes is a lot better, or even Felgram Blue Eyes just feels a lot better, at least for my play style, because it just didn't work out. He's going to get that effect there and drop my monster to zero. I know I still need to bring back Lunar Lights with the Crimson Fox and the, uh, the other new spell card, trust me, I'm aware. I haven't done it, but you see how quickly you can end games here? And then this, this is where things get derpy is against Ying Zing, because Ying Zing can pretty, uh, pretty much have every single out against you. So regardless of anything you do, see like I tried to go for White Spear Dragon here, he's got the Fiendish Chain, and I'm just like, okay, I don't know what you have, but I'm going to keep it face down so you can't do nothing, I'll get a blue ice on my board. He top sec that Solemn uh, Nose. I don't know if I would have, if I was him in his shoes, I would attribute the uh, Bixie, but whatever. So he sends my monster to gra grave, that's perfectly fine, because now I can bring back uh, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I try to go for White Spirit Dragon again. He's got another counter, so I'm like, you know what? The hell with this. Summon alternative, swing at your monster. It's a it's a freaking Ying Zing, dog is barking. I'm going for the Magical Sea Castle, because Magical Sea Castle, we mentioned this on like Tech Tuesday a week or two ago, it's, it's just fantastic to rip out cards from your opponent's extra deck and the longer it's out there on the board I could have done it on his turn but I have to chain to something so that's pretty much why it's so like here I could pretty much do it right when he goes for that spell card there and I can get this off the board at the same time which is just lovely you see me doing that and ripping a card back out so ripped out a box here that's a good hit so it's one less box here for me to worry about in all honesty and I'm going to rip out another card and I'm just going to pass because I could drop the chaos max and do shit but I'm just trying to you know weigh my options 
So next up on the super long freaking dual video series is going to be going against some weird freaking Buster Blader deck. And he actually gets the, the captain's effect, which was kind of hilarious. So that's partly the reason I had to show that, because it was just priceless that, that he actually got that off. So I only get a man and I'm like, Buster Blader, man, this could pretty much like, just get up there and attack points and do shit. But wait, what's this sage with the eyes of blue? I'm like, I'm so lost right now, I don't even know what the hell is going on. But uh, he goes for his dragon that's going to allow him to loop into another one. And look at, just look at the cards I'm drawing. And this is what I hate about Chaos Max. I can't draw the piece I need. I have to draw a fucking Manju to get it. I'm a little salty, I'm not even gonna lie. I have to draw the like that to get it. And it's just, ugh, it's so aggravating when you're trying just to like go completely off and you can't because you need that one card and you can't get that one card. Look at, look at all this stupidness of what I'm doing here. Bring back that blue eyes, go to an alternative and he's good to scoop. Here's another interesting deck, but this one's actually a little more uh, competitive wise. It's a hero. I can't believe I'm saying this. It's a hero frog deck. He goes for shark, and that allows him to bring out a tree toad. And I'm just sitting there going, "Oh boy, I'm so goddamn excited to see tree toad now." Not <laughs> like in all seriousness, I'm still able to play out of it, so it's not really that much of a problem for me, but. Yeah, I mean, heroes with that is just like the most craziest combination I've seen yet. I don't like. I don't know why he just left that that way because that's just game right there. You see, that's the problem. I also went against uh, weird Phantom knights. I know some people are gonna say they should not run Kage to Kage. It's harder and harder to really get like good duels on a timely manner. To be completely honest, um, to be fair, because a lot of people came from DN, they don't know their rulings, they get really mad at you, and they just call you a fucking cheater and shit. I'm not, like, trying to complain, I'm just being completely honest here, so. I'm trying to highlight aspects of the deck, and basically show you some good duels at the same time, so there's gonna be some cruddy ones, I'll be completely honest, there's just gonna be some cruddy ones once in a while. You know, just so I can actually get content out to you guys, like, what, what were you doing here? What were you doing? It's pretty much like they read Chaos Max, they go, oh, that's broken, and they, they, you know, they don't want to, like, try to get better to get over it. I'm not trying to sound like I'm hating, it's just one of those things that, you know, you gotta, you gotta learn to deal with stuff in Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, Cosmos are pretty stupid. They're probably dumber than fucking Chaos Max. By far, they're dumber than Chaos Max. I'll go on record saying that right now, prior to the panelists. They are much dumber. Um, you know, what they do and everything. So, there's that. But Chaos Max gonna swing at that window. Window's gonna bring back core. See, this guy's trying to play out of it. He's trying to find a way. So he goes for Shadow Fusion. I drop another Maxi because I'm a sacky piece of shit, apparently. And uh, that's just how it is today. I'm a sacky piece of shit. I'm being honest. He gets the Hedgehog. He gets a draw. He's gonna swing. I get a uh, free special summon now. White Spirit Dragon, take out your back row. He's gonna chain the Phoenix Chain, so at least that way I can't attack with it. I gotta say that's you know it's making best of be, best of it, but unfortunately for him, I have the the freaking gospel of revival to come back and then just start swinging with chaos max and go into number thirty eight, which this will just shut down uh, his whole deck. He goes for Exodius, and I'm like, wait, 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 maybe he meant to put it in defense mode, but even if he did, it would have been game because I don't see him really making being able to make a play because of this, unless he had some level twelve synchro I don't know about. So now, now we get to the fun stuff, pretty much. You're going to get some some meat. And this is against uh, Lights for Infernoid, because Infernoid, that's the only real way you can actually play Infernoid, sadly enough, without reasoning. But reasoning's kind of dumb anyway, so easy, easy peasy win right there, because that would have been one shot right there. Let me show you the duel that I've been mentioning. So this was early on testing, because obviously Effect Veiler is there. Uh, some things have changed throughout the deck, but I'll just give you a little preview there. You can, you could just slow it down and see from there. So it's pretty much the same thing, except I dropped the Feck Villar out. But this was against the Ying Zing player that actually was really good. I gotta hand him credit. He gave me one hell of a duel. And we went a lot of back and forth throughout this duel. You're gonna see that. So I go for a Twin Twist. He's got the counter. So he, he basically destroys his monster, gets a free special. And I'm like, okay, I could probably end the game here by doing that. But no, I'm going to get I'm gonna get really like grimy about it and just fucking go Magical Sea Castle. So I could rip cards out of his extra deck. Ooh, yeah, that's how we do it. But I did hit the ultimate Tozoka, so I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. And I also uh, veiled the Jatsu, so that way he couldn't make a giant play. But he goes for the uh, this guy, the new one. I think it's Duolong. It's not like a... 
It's not like the, the Pokemon. There's a Pokemon that's like, you know, same kind of thing. But I go for effect here. He's got his card up. I'm going to go for Manju. Go for it. But no! Get poop stomped. I get pooper stomped. I, I'm pretty sure even if I play Swords of Conceal and Light, he would still be able to uh, destroy it. I don't know if it says face up. You know what? Let me actually check. When a spell or trap is activated while well, you control the Yang Zing card. So, yeah, technically, he still would control the Ying Zing card, and he still has a creation, so he'd still be able to do it. Here he goes for the, uh, the Boxia. I'm countering it by destroying it, so he'll miss timing, but at the same time, I just protect myself before I wreck myself. He's got Vanity's Emptiness. That card's going to come into play uh, soon enough. I go for Alternative. Alternative is going to swing for 3,000. I get him down to 36. I'm feeling pretty confident. My light points haven't taken shit. He tops deck the top deck of all top deck. You know, this is, I'm being serious, it's a great card. I don't know why he didn't set that onto board, but he's got the uh, Oasis. He's playing Vandy's here. I'm like, okay, that's uh, that's a right by me. Take another 3,000, right? And I'm like, all right, I, I'm in the good. He plays Twin Twist, chains Oasis, summons the uh, the thing out, goes for Boxia. I, I forgot, I didn't couldn't catch its name. Uh, switches Boxia out, creation into loop, into uh, 16 into sync back out to level five into the uh i call it the pot of avarice wannabe goes to the pot of avarice wannabe supply squad with the nine branches of the ying zing that is disgusting to say the least i try to go for gospel there's a plane flying overhead don't mind it they're being fucking assholes again i already put in nine complaints that i don't want them flying over my damn house but hey it is what it is so he's gonna stop it i'm not gonna be able to do anything right now so he could pretty much, you know, just slowly recover shit. I don't know why I didn't go for alternative here. I pretty much probably figured Boxy is probably going to be coming out at some point. I didn't want it going back in. But look at just look at the madness of this. He's able to turn around the game so quickly because not only did he break through my glass cannon, because that's pretty much what Blue Eyes Chaos Max is, he's able to OTK me because he had the resources for late game that I did not. So I got one more game. And this is against Gemini. I had a bad hand. I'll be completely honest. Well, I see it as a bad hand because look at that. You really can't do much. You can only grab a combo piece and hope for the best. And it doesn't look like my opponent really got anything too special either. But my hand just like worse and worse with all these alternative dragons. And this is why like I was thinking maybe I shouldn't put an alternative dragon in the build. But for version 1, fuck it. We're putting an alternative dragon in the build because he does work. You know, he, he puts in work. So I top deck a Twin Twist and I'm like, come on, seriously, can I get something, you know, that is actually going to help me do my combo wombo? I could have stopped him there, but I decided to wait till it's on the board and he drops from there. Let's get into the deck. So this is the deck I was using. I know more people use uh, Triple Advance Ritual Art. I'm just going to mention it right off the bat. And they may not use Soul Charge, but I've never really used Soul Charge, so I wanted to use it this time. So I'm including a few things I never really include in my build, so trying out different things and we'll probably do a future build in about 2-3 weeks or so, go back to it. Because I have a few other ideas after filming Tech Tuesday to say the least. So let's go into this, 3 Blue Eyes White Dragons, pretty standard, 3 Blue Eyes Alternative. I don't know, I kind of want to cut it down to 2 now, just mainly because it clogged the shit out of it. 1 White Spirit Dragon, 3 Manju, 3 Maxi, Maxi is so good. Three Ancient White Stone, three Sage with the Eyes of Blue, and three Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. No Maiden, because I wanted to focus on Chaos Max. I did not want this becoming, you know, the uh, the typical variant I run. I wanted to test the waters and go to a completely different direction that basically, you know, felt fresh for the deck, say the least. Three Gospel, no Silver Scry, because Silver Scry is going to end up dead drawing. Remember, the focus is on getting Chaos Max and trying to end the game extremely quickly. Raigeki, three Trade In. 3 Melody of Awakening Dragon, 1 Skill Charge, Double Chaos Form, and 1 Advanced Ritual Art. I know more people tend to run more Advanced Ritual Art, but after the first one, and I go through getting my blue eyes so quickly, that's kind of why I felt the need not to put Advanced Ritual Art. I know probably, like, because you have Melody, so I'm usually pulling it to hand to try to get out of a situation to get to Chaos Max. So Double Twin Twist and Double Swords of Concealing, because you put shit face down, and you can pretty much end games. Uh, trap cards I'm considering, Phoenix Wind, Wind Blast, Quaking Mirror Force, Solemn Brigade, and Vanity's Emptiness for future builds, to say the least. Because the deck really does feel fragile. Because it's like, once I get over Chaos Max, it's like, congratulations. Unless you can bring this out, which is pretty hard in this variant, you know, you're not really going to have a good time getting over shit. So one Ajarize, 
Double Spirit Dragon, one Cloud Castle. For those of you who don't know, when you, this card is Synchro Summoned, you can target one level 9 monster in your graveyard. Ha! Uh, and then, level 8 or lower monsters cannot attack the turn they are normal summon or special summon. This actually comes in effect once in a while. I probably could have put a rank 9 in, but I decided against it. One Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, one Star of Spark, one Michael, one Moonlight Rose. Just options, you know, get shit off the field. One number, uh, number 95, one Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon, one Cypher, one number 38, one Heretic Sun, one Felgrand, and one Magical Sea Castle, which is a douchebag of douchebag card to say the least. You've seen it in the in duels. It actually does work. I gotta give credit to that Yang Zane player, because that was the only real loss I had with this deck, but... The only other times I really had issues with the deck is when it just clogged. And that, I don't know if that's YGO Pro clogs or is that just the way the deck is. Maybe too much alternative, but we'll see in the future builds. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button for more. Help us get up to 10,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys on the next video as always, which will be Tech Tuesday. And then the, uh, the movie pack box opening. So I'll see you then. Peace.